Hi, it's Evan Pagan, and we're learning how to take our knowledge and our life story and put it into a book or other digital product that we can sell to build our online business. In our first video, we learned about how to find our big idea. In other words, the specific knowledge that we have that others would pay money to learn. When you find your big idea, you literally find your purpose in business. You know where you're going. You know what step to take next. You know what you're supposed to be doing. And you know what you can give to others that can generate the big returns and results that you want. In our second video, we learned how to take that knowledge and put it into a book or digital teaching product that others are searching for right now online. So you have something for the thousands, tens of thousands, maybe millions of people who need what you know to solve their problem and get to the next level in their lives. Now, if you haven't watched those two videos yet, take some time right now and just click on them and watch them, then come back to this one. You'll get a lot more from this third video if you watch those two videos first. And now, in our third video here, we're going to learn how to take our big idea and our digital product and actually build an online business that sells them so we can create the profit, the income, and the lifestyle that we really want. We're gonna take what we learned in the first two videos and we're going to add several new pieces to the puzzle. You're going to learn the five modules of building your digital product and your online business and how they all fit together. You're going to get more in-depth tips for targeting your niche and for creating your product, okay? A product that people wanna buy and then building your marketing to get traffic and leads, launching your product and building your email follow-up system. Now this video is going to be super intense and super fast paced. If you are doing anything else right now or you have any distractions going, shut them down and get yourself something to write on, something to write with, something to take notes with. You're about to get literally dozens of ideas for creating your digital product and building your business. And it's important that you are ready. Now as you've seen, my online digital product business completely changed my life. I went from being unemployed and $30,000 in debt to having a business that paid me incredibly well, but more importantly, a business that gave me the flexibility and freedom to work when and where I wanted with the people that I wanted to work with in a way that really made me happy and fulfilled. It gave me the means and the time to start a family, to travel, to help the people that I love, and it gave me the means to contribute to others in the world and make a bigger and bigger impact. Now keep in mind, this is a proven system. It's a proven system of blueprints and shortcuts and steps to create and market your digital product online. I've now used these systems to build 10 brands and businesses in several different niches to the million dollar mark in sales. I've refined this system over many years now in the trenches in the real world to work out the bugs. I've used it to build a lot of successful brands and companies and many other people around the world have used these steps and these systems to create success. And the most important thing for you to remember here is that you've already done most of the work. Okay, now it's time to cash in on your life's work and monetize your knowledge and your story. You did most of it already, and you know most of the skills already, and the final pieces will do together, okay? Creating and launching your digital product. And by the way, it's important for you to understand that my digital product blueprint training, it's a 90-day course, and it involves five in-depth modules, plus advanced marketing and productivity training. And what you're about to see is an orientation to that course. Okay, but it's also the core of the course. And instead of this session being an, a really in-depth blueprint training about one small area, it's going to be an orientation and what I call a checklist training. We're going to walk step-by-step step through the five checklists to make sure you have all of your bases covered when creating and marketing your digital product. I wanted to share the most important mindsets and techniques so you can get started now. This way, we hit the ground running and you're already underway when we start our class. So treat this like we're already getting started today because we are. Now, in order to create a great digital product, you must get yourself into a strong growth mindset. Carol Dweck, the motivation psychologist, has shown that some people believe that their lives are set the way they are and that there's basically nothing they can do to change their lives. But some people have a growth mindset, what she calls a growth mindset, and they believe that they can change themselves and their circumstances. In order to teach and to learn, we must get ourselves 
and our students into a growth mindset. So let's do that right now. Can you remember a time when you came up against a challenge in your life and you had to do something to figure out how to get past a big obstacle so you could get to the next level? You had to do something new, something different, because the old way wasn't working anymore, and you did it. You took action, you did something new and different, and you made it happen. Now remember what it felt like when you took action, when you broke through your old limiting thinking and your old limiting behavior, and you did what you needed to do to succeed. Remember how great that felt? And can you remember the key lesson that you needed to learn new things and do new things to get bigger and better results? Okay, so what are we doing right now? We're putting ourselves in a strong growth mindset and a strong growth state, okay, that will keep us paying attention and learning. And we wanna keep paying attention and learning in this session. And by the way, remember to get your students into this mindset and this state when you teach them in your digital product. Now we're going to go through our five modules of the Digital Product Blueprint course and run through the key concepts and the checklists for how to target your niche, how to create your product, how to build your marketing, how to get traffic and get customers to launch a product, and then how to automate your email follow-up. Now, because the world is basically infinitely complex and potentially infinitely confusing, we need something very special in order to move forward and to take action. We need shortcuts. We need to learn how to eliminate as much trial and error as possible and how to get predictable results. Now, if we overdo shortcuts, okay, we become gamblers. Okay? And gamblers attempt to get results without any effort at all, and they wind up compulsively doing things that don't have a very high probability of working. But if we get the shortcuts just right, then we'll save energy, we'll leverage our knowledge, we'll get more done, we'll sell more products, we'll make more money, we'll grow our health, we'll grow our happiness, we'll grow our wealth, and we'll live a better life. In the realm of digital products, which is where you can share your knowledge with others and build a business and get paid to do it, there are infinite possible steps you can take. Okay, it can be very confusing. It took me several years to understand some of the things that are now basic and obvious. And over the past 15 plus years, I have developed this set of proven systematic shortcuts that you can take in order to create and launch your digital product so it becomes a winner and a winner for you and your business and your income. Now, I call this set of shortcuts, the entire set, and the in-depth training that teaches them to you, the Digital Product Blueprint. Okay, and we're gonna start that class very soon. Right now, what I'm going to show you is some of the shortcuts that I've learned and give you a huge advantage creating and launching your digital product. Now remember, as we've learned in our first two videos, if you don't build your digital product, you can't build your online business. No digital product, no online business. Okay, it's that simple. We have to get your digital product done, okay? So let's get to work on it together. You can't win this game without shortcuts, and these are the shortcuts that work. So first, okay, our first module is our niche checklist. When you're targeting your niche, what you're really doing is identifying the people who are most likely to buy from you, and then thinking about their specific needs so that you can visualize them in your mind. Instead of just talking about yourself and your product later on, you're talking to a person and you're using the language that you'd use if you were talking to a friend. Now, it's a huge mistake to jump in and create your product before targeting your niche. Now, if you get your audience right, then you know who they are in your mind and you know how to talk to them and you know what to say. If you don't get your audience right, then you're continually guessing and you'll probably create a product that no one wants to buy. Another point here is that every time a new medium comes, there are new winners in business. Now this means that there's an ever increasing opportunity in business if you know how to think this way. Okay, you've probably heard of IBM, the computer company. IBM won the early computer market. They completely dominated it. So they should have won the software market, but they didn't. Microsoft did. And Microsoft, right, they won software. They should have won the search engine market but they didn't, Google did. And Google should have won the social networking market, but they didn't, Facebook did. Now, romance and relationship experts, they should have won the online dating advice market, but they didn't, okay? I and my company did. And you can win too, because there are always new winners when there's a new medium. 
And right now, with the online world and the mobile world, everything is up for grabs again. Okay, so here's our niche checklist that we have to keep in mind, and we wanna do these five things. Number one, narrow your niche. Get more specific than you were in order to create a product that people want to buy. Two, use my three question test. Okay, is the customer motivated? Are they searching for solutions? And can they not find a high quality answer? Number three, create a new category. Okay, think in terms of categories and have your own, create your own. Now mine was to help men get dates. And by the way, this is the ultimate strategy when you're creating a new product as well. I went on to create many different products that actually were their own individual categories. Okay, so I created a, a product on online dating and I created a product on how to increase your confidence. Okay, each product can be its own category. Number four, name your category. Okay, so I named my category dating advice for men when I was teaching dating advice for men. Not only do you have to narrow your niche and create a category, but you need to name your category so you can talk about it. And you can also talk about that you're the one that created it. Five, create your customer avatar. Okay, so take all the traits of your best customers, put them together, and create one imaginary person in your mind. I call this your customer avatar. And this gives you a person in your mind that you can talk to. A little tip here, give them a name. Name your customer avatar. Okay, as I was teaching dating advice for men, I named my customer avatar Irwin, because that's the name of a guy that sounds like he probably has a little bit of trouble in the social space. Okay, so second is our product checklist. So, as you make your product, it's important to remember that you can make a digital product that actually does most of the heavy lifting of the sales and marketing for you. So let me say that again, you can make a product that does most of the work in the sales and marketing department. You do it by creating a product that people are already searching for, that they already want to buy. And you can do this relatively easily and quickly, especially with a digital information product. In Silicon Valley, where I like to spend time whenever I can, they have a saying, and it goes like this, the product is the marketing. They like to build and invest in products that have been designed to sell themselves. So you wanna create a digital product that doesn't require selling or marketing in order to be wanted, but that when you add a little bit of skillful selling and marketing, it's like throwing gas on a fire and the product becomes irresistible. And as you create your product, keep in mind that people go through a predictable and consistent sequence when they are learning something new. And if you know this sequence and you use it, you have an actual formula for organizing your information. Then it feels natural to learn for your student or customer. Now, if you don't know how to organize and structure your information, then people find it very confusing and hard to learn, and they'll often spot this before they even buy from you, just from the previews and the way you talk about your product, or worse, they'll ask for a refund when they realize it later. So here's a checklist for creating a product that sells itself and that's intuitive and easy to learn from. Number one, create an outline based on the things that people are searching for. If you base your outline on what people are already searching for, then you have something that people already wanna buy. Okay, so look online and use the tools and make your outline based on what people are searching for right now. Two, get a rapid prototype together of your digital product and get it online to test market. I wrote my first book, my first digital product in three weeks and I got it out and I started test marketing it. I know a company that worked for over a year on a new website and then launched it, and you know what happened? Sales went down. So don't get caught in the trap of perfectionism here. Get your first version done and get it out. In the Digital Product Blueprint course, we aim to get your first digital product done in 30 days. And later in the course, I'll show you how to take what you learn and create the ultimate product that people will buy from you for years into the future. Three, use what I call knowledge frameworks. For example, in these videos, you'll see that I've used a simple formula that goes like this. Why, what, how. So first I tell you why. I tell you why you need to learn what I'm about to teach you. Okay, what you'll get if you learn and apply it and what you'll lose if you don't. Okay, I tell you why you need to learn. Then I tell you what to learn. 
and I tell you the mindsets, and I tell you the stories, okay? So you learn the what, and then finally I tell you the how, and I give you some specific action steps and some techniques, okay? So why, what, how. Now this is a very simplified version of the model, but it'll give you a new perspective on what's happening here. There's a method, there's a structure, there's a template underneath it all. Now I use a total of seven different knowledge frameworks. Okay, so it's super fast and easy for me to create content in my products and my trainings. Okay, and I give you all of these seven different models inside the digital product blueprint so you can be up and running quickly with your product and your business. Number four, package your knowledge in the highest value format that you can. There are many types of digital products, okay, with books and audio courses and video courses and membership sites, okay, and these are just a few of them. As you create your product, make sure you're putting it into a format that has a high perceived value. Some formats have a perceived value of 20 or $30. Some have a perceived value of thousands of dollars. You must think like a customer here and use the product format that has the kind of value that you want to charge, that you want to earn. Now I've created digital products that I've given away for free and I've created digital products that sell for you know, $10,000. Okay, so there's a huge range here and you need to pick the format that has the highest perceived value. Five, name your product. Okay, name your product using the most important benefit or outcome or result that your customer wants or wants to avoid. And this is the most important part actually. And I have a systematic way that I approach naming. Okay, but don't skimp on time here. A bad name is suicide and a great name can make your product. Okay, so take the extra time to create a great name. And of course, as we get into the digital product blueprint course deeper, you'll get all of my templates for designing a high value product that, that sells itself, all my techniques for naming and creating the content. All right, so third is our marketing checklist. Now, when I started out in business, I was completely sales and marketing phobic. When I was 22 years old, I got a real estate license and I tried to sell houses. One of the techniques you learn in real estate is called cold calling. Now maybe you've had experience with it or you've seen it. The idea is that you sit down and you call a hundred people and you ask them if they want to buy or sell a home. Now I sat down at the phone for my first cold calling session. Okay, I was 22. I had my list of people that I was going to call. This, you know, list of people who owned homes in a particular area of town, none of whom I knew. And I sat there looking at the phone, looking at my list, and just getting sicker and sicker until finally I got so upset that I went home and I went to bed. The first marketing ad that I wrote and I placed, it got zero calls from people that wanted to buy or sell real estate. The first direct mail campaign that I sent out, zero calls. They were a complete waste of money and they made me feel bad. You know, having that failure, it sucked. One of the things I learned later is that you can actually unsell your customers with your marketing. David Ogilvy talks about this, okay? So you can actually make marketing that chases buyers away, so they're less likely to buy. Okay? So you have to pay attention here and get this right. And I invested many, many years trying to understand marketing before I finally got it. We all intuitively know that marketing is a key to our online business success, but we're often in mortal fear of it and we don't wanna turn people off with a bunch of high pressure, inauthentic, scammy sounding salesman talk. We don't wanna sound like a used car salesman. Now here's an insight that changed literally everything for me. Buying should be fun and it shouldn't feel bad. People want to buy. We love to buy stuff. Have you heard the term retail therapy? Okay, we buy stuff when we feel good and we buy stuff to make ourselves feel better when we're down. We humans love to buy stuff. And getting someone to convert, okay, to actually get off the fence, to stop thinking about it and to make a commitment to actually give you their money and buy your product from you, this conversion process, it should be a conversation. It should feel like a conversation to you and to your customer even if they're reading something from you, like an email or watching a video like this one. And there's a way to do it so it feels like a conversation, so it feels natural and it feels good. Marketing can feel good to create and good to receive, and it doesn't have to put you into a state of fear. So here's our marketing checklist. Number one, test everything. 
Jay Abraham says that in marketing, everything is a test. Okay, we have this fixed mindset when it comes to marketing and our online business, and we don't remember that we can change things. We can take things that we find that work and put them together into a system. This is a huge piece of the puzzle. Test things out, then keep what works and build it into a system that the technology will run over and over again. A machine winning more and more business as it grows. Two, use the conversion conversation. Robert Collier said to enter into a conversation that your prospect is already having in their own mind. Okay, so there are seven steps to a conversion conversation. First, you need a headline. You need to start the conversation by saying the biggest need of the customer, the thing that they're most interested in. Next, you need to tell your story, the story of how you learned to get the result that your customer wants. Next, you need to introduce your product. Okay, so we introduce the digital product, but not as a product, we introduce it as a solution to their problem, okay, or a solution to what they want. Next, we use bullets and we talk about the list of benefits or results that your customer is going to get from your digital product. Next, we talk about the value and we frame and translate the value of your product in their language, in the language of someone who has a need. Next, we take away the risk, okay? And we take away the risk by offering a guarantee. And there's some other ways that we can do that, but guarantees are very powerful. And finally, we ask for action. We ask the customer to take action and tell them what to do right now to take the next step toward getting the result that they want. And of course, the next step is to invest in your digital product. All right, so number three in the marketing checklist is use winning, proven, money-making headline and copy formulas. If you're in doubt about how to write a headline, start with the words how to, okay? They're proven. I use seven different headline formulas and a set of copy and bullet formulas, which of course I'll be showing you in future sessions and advanced trainings inside the Digital Product Blueprint course. Number four is speak it out loud. Say your marketing and use a transcription of your words to keep that conversational feel, okay? It's what they call speak right. And speak right is okay when you're doing marketing because again, it feels like a conversation. So speak into your mobile, speak into your computer, or record a conversation and have it transcribed. Again, conversational, okay, conversational. And then number five, make it feel like valuable education and news. Now design is a big deal when you're marketing. You want your marketing to feel intuitively trustworthy. So make sure you design your pages and your communications to feel like valuable education and news. Design is basically not taught in digital product publishing. Okay, it's not taught in information marketing, it's not taught in online business, and yet it is so critical. In the Digital Product Blueprint course, we go in depth into the principles of design, plus you'll get my templates for all aspects of my products, my websites, and my copy, so you can swipe them for your own digital product and online business. Now the next module is your launch checklist. Now I like using launches because they create an event that causes me to get things done. It gives me something to navigate by and it motivates me. Your launch will motivate you too and it'll get you excited. Your launch gets your digital product out into the world with a bang and it gets your online business off the ground and running. It also starts building your relationships with other people and businesses and websites who have lists of people who want to buy products like yours. So you can take advantage of the years of time and effort that others have put into finding your customers. Now, if you don't do a launch, you'll have a hard time getting yourself to actually do anything. And you'll have a hard time getting your digital product out into the world. Okay, so here's a checklist of things to remember for your launch. First, move the free line. Okay, now there's a little saying that I've come up with. Now it used to cost a lot to give away a really valuable piece of education or training, like to give away a video, because you'd have to print a tape or a DVD or something and then send it out to people in the mail. Now it doesn't cost anything sometimes to give away valuable information. So what we wanna do is give away something as valuable as what other people are selling to separate yourself from the pack. And you wanna lead with your best idea. You wanna give away your best idea, just like music artists, who are some of the highest paid people in the world, just like they do. 
Would a music artist ever take the worst song off their album and then release that as their first single? No, of course not. They take the best song off their album. So take your best idea and give that one away. Number two, treat your prospects like customers from the beginning. Actually start your digital product experience in your free content as you do your launch. If you talk to people like they're already your students, they get into the mindset and they come along for the rest of your program. Number three, offer to give content and training to future partners, okay? Future people who you wanna have sell your product to their list. So do guest blog posts or guest interviews or do a guest webinar for their list. Do guest content however they want it. Now, all of us that have big lists, we're always looking for valuable stuff to give to the people who follow us, to our audiences. So show up and give something valuable first. Don't show up to just try to get something. Everyone calls up and says, hey, can I sell my stuff to your list? Don't do that. Show up with something valuable and say, hey, I've got this great free thing that I'd love to give to your list. Or even better, hey, I've got this really valuable thing that I usually charge for, but I'd like to give it to your group for free. Number four, put up an opt-in page for your launch. Now this is an obvious one, but most people don't get it. Here's the reality of the situation. Half or more of the people who come to your opt-in page won't sign up and they'll be gone forever. Okay, so half, really? Am I telling you that you should turn half of the people who come to your site away? Yes, I am. Okay, so why would you do this? It's because the half who register and sign up or whatever your number is, okay, it might be lower or higher depending on how you do your launch, they'll be a lot more valuable to you. A subscriber, it's a lot more valuable because you can then follow up. And remember, most of your sales will come from people who have heard from you more than once. Most of your sales. I estimate that it's 80 to 90% of my sales in the long run come from people who have heard from me many times. So put up an opt-in page and offer something valuable in exchange for opting in and getting on your list. And number five on this checklist, give students a powerful reason to enroll right now. When you finally open up your product launch and allow people to buy your digital product, give new students and customers a motivating reason to enroll right now. Don't say to them, well, okay, now that you've got the information, you can think about it and come back if you feel like it. Okay, that's not the way a leader communicates. Remember, people are silently begging to be led. They want you to give them a step-by-step -step plan for how to solve their problem, and they want you to invite them to take action now. They really want you to sweeten the deal and give them an incentive to do it now. So give them a, a bonus training or a bonus digital product or a live class that they can attend or a product from one of your partners, but offer them something and give them a good reason to act now. Now the fifth and final module is your email checklist. Okay, your email checklist. Email was and is the killer marketing app online. Most sales of digital products in our industry are made by email. Okay, this is a true story. And many huge companies were built with email. PayPal, built by email. Facebook, built by email. Big launches, okay, they're done with email. Most of the million customers that my companies have generated, they did not buy a digital product on the first visit to my websites. As I said, again, most of them. And they didn't buy a digital product from the first email that I sent them either. Okay, a vast majority buy later, after you've mailed them several times and built a relationship with them. Remember the conversion conversation? A lot of that is actually done with email. You do it up front before they see your other conversion processes. Now this is where a lot of people who create digital products, they really drop the ball and they throw away literally 80 or 90% of their sales and money as a result. Email is business communication. And business communication is what we want to use if we want people to do business with us, meaning to buy our digital product. Now I'm one of the pioneers of email marketing of digital products online and you must master this way of communicating and learn the steps for how to do it if you wanna win this game. Okay, so let's get to the email checklist, okay? Number one, start your email with something valuable. Even if it's a little tip or a story about how you got an insight and start your subject line with something that grabs attention. Number two, align everything. 
make sure that your subject line, your body copy, and your offer are all about the same thing. Don't have a subject line about one thing and then content about another, and then an offer at the end for something totally different. Make sure that they're all about the same thing and use the same words if you can. Okay, so if I'm gonna write uh, an email follow-up about online dating and I wanna sell my course on online dating, my subject line needs to talk about online dating and my body needs to talk about online dating. And at the end, when I make my offer, it needs to say, click here to learn more about online dating. Align everything. Number three, keep following up. Now write this down. You can't over communicate if you're talking to people who are interested and motivated and you're giving them valuable information. Okay, you can't over communicate. Think about it. People watch TV shows for years without getting anything valuable from them. Okay, and they do it on their own without any reminders, without any sales pitches. You can email people every day if you have something valuable enough to say to them. So don't be shy, make sure to offer a lot of value and communicate. Number four, vary your format, okay? Vary your format. When I started building my first digital product business, I developed three types of email newsletters. Now you can mix teaching with interaction and question and answer. Um, you can interact with your readers or your viewers. You can even create other types of follow-ups and use a, you know, let's say a podcast or a video series. Just make sure you use email to remind people to listen to or watch it. Now in the digital product blueprint training, I'm gonna walk you through my three main formats, how to use each of them, and I'll give you plug and play templates and outlines and samples so you can just start using them immediately. We'll also get into autoresponders and learn how to set up uh, an autopilot long-term follow-up system so that every person who joins your list gets followed up with in a very powerful and personalized way. And fifth, make several offers. Okay, make sure in your email that you make at least two offers with working links, okay, or clickable pictures or other ways to respond and take action. The more links you give, okay, in general, the higher your click-through and your conversions. So put at least one link in the middle, one at the end, and then maybe add one at the beginning as you get better and better. Again, email is where most of the sales of digital products in our industry come from and we'll work together in the Digital Product Blueprint course to install a sequence of email conversion pieces that will turn your subscribers into excited and motivated buyers of your digital product. Okay, so those are the five main components, the five main building blocks of your digital product business. And I wanna talk about one more, okay? Kind of a, like a bonus module. In these videos, you've heard me mention the graduation model for selling digital products. And in our advanced course, in the Digital Product Blueprint course, you will learn how to create a product line and how to stack your products together in packages, in upsells, in multi-step sequences to increase every sale, sometimes by 100%, just by creating a path to graduate from one product to another. Now, I think that every person who creates digital products should have more than one digital product because it's these additional products that create the bigger profit margins in our businesses. And I'll show you the sequence to create your products in and the templates for your more advanced courses so you can charge premium prices for them. Now, a couple more important things in closing. One, we're about to open up registration for the Digital Product Blueprint course. It's a 90-day course where we will work together and you'll get my proven templates, my systems, my blueprints for building your digital product and your online business. You'll finish the course with your digital product done and your online business on. And second, the question you should be asking right now is, am I ready to do this? Am I ready to take the knowledge and experience and the story that I have and put it into a book or other digital product and build my online business. And third, remember, you've already done most of the work learning what you know. It's just a few more steps to turn that experience into a digital product. You've done most of the work, okay? And the rest of it, we'll do together. My first digital product, it changed my life. And each time I create another one, it changes the lives of others around the world. And it adds yet another pillar of stability and another stream of income to my online business. In our fourth video, you'll see how to structure your marketing 
and see a powerful million dollar example of how to create a video that makes it fun and interesting for people to buy your digital product from you. So use these tips to build your digital product and start your business. I'll email you soon with the link to this next video, so keep your eye open for it, and I'll talk to you then.